are demeaning and offensive to women. Recently, online campaigner Talitha Stone told us why she wanted Snoop Dogg banned from Australia. When he tours, he brags about having a bus of 10 bitches following him that he sells their body to athletes and entertainers. But isn't it kind of part of the whole stick of being a black gangster rapper or whatever, that there's this kind of, it's almost like a joke, it's so over the top that... I don't think it's a joke when it comes to selling women's bodies. And he may rap about it, but he's living this out as well. And he brags about that and how he's always wanted to be a pimp. And that's why blokes shouldn't pipe up. Yeah, shut down all right. Hey, um, an Aussie rap star on the rise is actually here this morning to defend Snoop Dogg as well as rap's uh, lyrics about women. Let's welcome MC Cursor to our panel. <laughs> Say, first of all, welcome to our panel Thanks and congratulations on your success. I've read through your lyrics, they're a lot tamer in Thank terms you. of uh, your, your uh, treatment of women. Um, but you've had a pretty, a pretty hard upbringing and you, you've dug your way out of it with your mm -hmm. talent. Yeah, that's right. I um, hail from the southwest of Sydney, Campbelltown. Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> And, um, yeah, it's just really taken off now and I think people misinterpret a lot of rap lyrics and that's what I want to clear up here. Mm. I, got, I got in trouble before, so I'll get in trouble again. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it's part of the whole... They're, they're not really meant to be taken seriously as literal that's descriptions. Exactly right. are they? It's part of a sort of canon exactly of... Exactly right. It's like hip-hop and rap. It's its own genre, so the words that are said in hip-hop and rap have a certain meaning for that. If people heard it, like the general public hear it, they misinterpret it for something else. But, but how can though you misinterpret um, things that are demeaning okay. and offensive and liken women to whores and the awful B word and okay. other things like that? How, how can that okay. not be? Well, the way I come up, I come up with rap battles and that's when you verse your opponent and you say the worst stuff and people get on your Facebook, they do your family research, dig up anything they can. So I've had stuff about my girlfriend, about my mum, grandma, whatever said about me. And it's just the whole genre of hip hop and rap at the end of the day, it's just... Um... But isn't that quite cruel though? I don't know. To have oh, a go at people in that see, way? See, I could have lyrics like, I'm running into my show uh, I'll decapitate everybody. I don't actually mean I'm going to go to my next show and cut people's heads off. So. MC Cursor, I've got a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, well, must, Buy your tickets you, now. What do you mean? Hey? But what do you mean? Um, well, there's a good comedy aspect of my stuff as well. So I think I'm pretty clear when I'm, uh, you know, giving a. You mean you say it with a smile? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like saying, you know, I'm going to kill it tonight. You know? That's right. I'm going to have a killer show. You're not saying I'm actually going to murder people during the act. That's right. And I just want to say I'm not going to murder anyone if you buy tickets to my show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but he'll murder you if you don't. Yes, yeah, right. I don't want to be glib and a wowser, but is it just, you know, I've, I've read through a lot of your lyrics. You, you don't have a huge amount of times that you say whore or bitch no. or slut. Is it because not many things rhyme with women and girl? <laughs> is that what it, part of the problem? Yeah, well, in my earlier days when I started rapping, I would use that a lot because what I was listening to, that's what I would hear. Nowadays, I'm growing up, I'm getting more mature and um, I'm just rapping about life experience and what I'm going through now. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got this graphic because often um, the reason, the defence is that it's art. Mm -hmm. uh, this is from um, a rapper um, by the name of Bazaar. He raps, my little sister's birthday, she'll remember me, a gift I had ten of my boys take her virginity. Yeah. You. I don't know if pack raping a little girl is art. No, that, that's obviously said in a comedy way. Uh, D12 Bazaar, that particular rapper, is known for his outrageous lyrics. And but that's not funny. I mean, there's nothing that is amusing about yeah. that. There is a lot of people who would find it funny. Really? It's that far-fetched. He's not being serious. I think that's quite obvious. I just wonder... Mm -hmm. um, you know, if, if, you, if you have a little boy walking around kind of humming these lyrics and sort of saying the words and not knowing what they mean, whether that then becomes yep. part of the internal chatter when, it, when he starts dealing with women later in life. I would say um, there's a big responsibility on the parents there, not letting their kids, you know, if you don't want to hear it, don't tune into it to a certain extent. Maybe, you know, get, uh, watch your kids on the internet and make sure they can't stumble across that type of stuff. I think it comes down to the parent. So tell me, what's the, the vehicle that you use in order to communicate to your fans? So is it it's purely YouTube or um, how, do you, how do you generate it? Yeah, that? well, I haven't got any radio play. I haven't tried to go for that market. I'm just 
I got my Facebook, my Instagram and my YouTube and my mm. fans know where to find and me. And what are the numbers? As in... As in Facebook friends, Instagram uh, Facebook followers. friends, I'm almost at 180,000. <gasps> YouTube views, I've got over 25 million. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So obviously Go what on. you're saying and what you're seeing about resonates. You grew Definitely. up in you grew up in housing commission homes in a pretty I'm rough part yeah, yeah. of Sydney and um, you said that uh, you know what you talk about in your songs is very very real. So obviously that's hitting a chord. Yes, there's a big community out in the southwest of Sydney Campbelltown where they relate to what I'm saying and I think that's the reason why I've got so much support behind me and yeah, I'm one of the most popular in the country. Work. All right, all right. Well done, mate. And Shikursa, thank you very much for thank joining you. us. It's a, uh, it's a complicated issue. Let us know what you think on our social media sites, whether you think it's demeaning or, or it's art. All right, we are back after a very short break with the top 10 most annoying.